y'all welcome i'm tay renee thanks for joining me so today i'm giving y'all another lock update so finally my hair is fully fully locked so if this is not your first time here you know that i had a tapered haircut so the sides and back of my hair was shaved but now it's completely locked at my second retie it was finally long enough for me to get the, my whole head locked up and so that's what i'm going to show y'all today so y'all can see i don't know how many locks it is now so i'm gonna have to do it in another video count everything up for y'all so y'all can see or know how many locks i have in my hair now and then i also ordered something new from amazon um some lock jewelry hair jewelry so we are gonna see what it looks like y'all we'll see we'll see we'll see it's been a couple of weeks since my um since it's been locked since my last retie so it doesn't look as fresh as it did then of course it's gonna be harder to count these locks these smaller short locks than it was for the longer pieces so now i'm officially about three and a half months locked it's been about 15 weeks, but let's see if um, the smaller locks lock up first. On Google, I seen somewhere where they said these, the shorter locks, because it, the hair has less distance to travel, that it doesn't take as long to lock up. My hair texture in the back, y'all, is um, kinkier than the rest of my hair. So even when I was natural, for umpteen years, no matter how long my hair had got back here, it was at one point past my bra strap down my back. And no matter what I did, um, what style I wore, the hair back there, it always shrunk up to a fist. <laughs> it is a total different texture than my hair up front here. It starts to change in the middle and then once it gets to the back, it's the kinkiest. And uh, when I wet it, you, no matter what type of product or gel I put in there, it always shrink better back up and I always wore it. Um, when it was a wash and go or um, just out in its natural state, everyone always thought I had to cut to be like long on the side and short in the back. But no, that hair was longer than the front. It just shrunk up all the time to a fist. And I never did try any of those techniques how people like to stretch their hair out like and stuff like that i didn't do any of that and i haven't had any unraveling yet with the small hair in the two weeks since they've been locked so i might start wearing my hair like this right here but how i've been wearing my hair the last month and a half or so is like this when i go out you know, I put my stuff, y'all know my stuff I love, my wax right here in the front. Oh, and the last time I went to um, my last retie, before she locked everything up, she let me grab the comb and um, pull out whatever hair I wanted to leave out and not have locked so that I can play with it. And I guess later on in the future, if I just wanted her to add that hair to some other locks or something like that, but for now... I left out a little bit on each side so I can play with my sideburns and stuff like that. The only reason why my hair looks like this texture and um, this cute on the side is because I added in the hair wax. I guess this is another little style I can probably rock right now. I don't know. When I go back and edit this video and look at this video, I'll see how I like it how I like it, if I think it looks right or not. And when I got my, and for my first two retires, she always retie re my hair with a slit in the middle. So I let her know that I always, I never wear my hair like this. I think it looks better to the side. So she said for now on, she'll start retying it in that direction so that it'll lay in that direction easier and this is my favorite when it's not fresh i don't know how many people out there like when their locks are fresh and all that but i like it the frizzier it gets and the fuller it looks after a couple of weeks 
So this is what three and a half, 15 weeks look like. Go back and check all of my other videos if you're new here so you can follow me and my lock journey and all the tips and things that I've learned throughout this journey. I do have some locks that are hang longer than the other locks. I contemplated cutting it and so it could all be even and stuff, but I don't want a uniform look. <laughs> So once it's long, I just don't want it to be just like a straight cut once it once it's long. I want it to have some dimension and, and a little bit of volume. So um, for right now, my decision is just to leave those alone and eventually maybe it'll shrink up and lock up to so it'll look more um, like the look I'm going for. One of my favorite looks is to have a high ponytail and have my hair in the up and in my face like this so I can't wait for the rest of my hair catch up and I can put it up tie it up that's a long ways away y'all this is just my gray hair y'all <laughs> so it's not like product build up or anything I know sometimes in the camera it can look like um, maybe it's some product build up but that's just my gray highlight so bye and here's a little lock right here All right, y'all, let me go get this hair jewelry. So let's see how it's gonna work out, fingers crossed. So I got my favorite color here. All right, y'all, this is just a little play time, a little experiment time. This is about how long they are. Oh, ooh, ooh, y'all. So it's not that, these are not that expensive. So I don't mind cutting off one or two of them just so that it's a little bit more the length that I'm looking for. So it'll probably have to be two of these. So let's see, which one am I gonna cut off? If I put it all the way up here in my hair, then I only have to cut off one. All right, we're gonna play with this real quick. I'm gonna just use this dark green one. Is it supposed to be black? So this is black, I say hunter green. What did I say? I ordered these because they have this type of attachment to them. So you can attach it to your hair this way. So again, I didn't want anything with a comb. I wanted something I could just put on there and snap in place and um, hide the clip within my hair. I'm just trying to go by the book as far as not sticking any hair jewelry actually through my lock before it's actually locked up. And even once it's locked up, I don't know if I'm going to be doing too much of that. So it'll always be the type of jewelry. <laughs> y'all, this might end up being a bust, but look, we friends and family over here. So y'all can trial and error with me. Oh, what if I had my head to the side? Kind of clip my head to the side. That look a little better. Is the feather turn right, y'all? Have like a couple of them in here. Uh, anyway, I said I was trying to show y'all everything. Even if it don't work out, I'm showing you. I think I'm gonna take this, this pin, these things off of it and just put a bobby pin on there. Sit a little loop at the end of the hoop. If I had my hair up. Oh, we done figured it out, y'all. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so for the girls out there, they can put their hair up. <laughs> oh, y'all can put these in your ponytail. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna figure it out. Because for me, something just is a little off, so I need to play with it. And we ain't got all day. So to be continued, I'll put the link behind down here in the um, description for those of you who already, um, you know, have long enough hair where this is going to look right or you already um, know something I don't know about how to make it work and or you just want to play with it yourself and get creative.
I put the link down there. Because I know everybody's head length is different. Everybody's head texture is different. Everybody um, style and taste is different. So this might be what you're looking for. I would definitely love it if I can just put it up. And then have like a couple of them. Like one in the front, one in the back. But right now, I've just got to figure out what's the go-to spot on this, on my short locks, on how I'm going to make it work. Just have it randomly in the back. I already know with just one, it's probably not going to work, but it's kind of look awkward a little bit. So I'll probably need at least two or three somewhere and more beads in my head. I'm leaning more towards, I'm going to cut these dang clips off and just use a bobby pin and try it that way as well so I feel like I can have a little bit more movement with it down like this oh over here look like a little cute earring <laughs> this me trying this me trying to make it work ooh 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 girl ooh that's kind of cute y'all so I can pull my hair to the ponytail like this sundress, summer dress. Uh, just have one little feather. <laughs> I ended up cutting off the whole feather. All right, y'all. So thank you. I appreciate y'all. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Um, for those who are into my vlogs, they like to watch my vlogs, bear with me. I'm getting back in the swing of things. So... I ain't making no promises like y'all going to see one in a couple of days or anything like that. Just keep an eye out. I'm getting back into my routine and things like that. Don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, if you have tips for us, this is a tips channel. I do call my subscribers my tippies because we like giving tips over here. So leave a tip for us below in the comments if you have one. Or just say hey. Oh.